This next story takes us to Arizona for a road trip unlike any other. Interstate 19 in Arizona stretches from Tucson down to the border with Mexico. It's the only highway in the U.S. that uses a metric system instead of miles, a relic from the 1970s that may soon go away. Janet Shomley shows us why some locals hope that push for a change hits a roadblock. Arizona's Interstate 19 between Tucson and Nogales, Mexico is about 63 miles. A fact that won't help if you're driving on it. Turn right at the job. Okay. We took a road trip with Henry Nofel along the only highway in the country where the metric system is used. The signs are in kilometers. I think it's great. I think it's punching above its weight. The Arizona engineer is a metric system enthusiast. Believe it or not, in the, in the metric nerd world, people have actually flown down to come drive it. The unusual signs have become something of an attraction. Alejandro Aguilar lives in Tubac, Arizona, along the interstate. It's just kind of a cool little quirky fact about us. So why are these signs in kilometers anyway? Well, this stretch of highway was essentially a 1970s science experiment when the U.S. flirted with converting to the metric system, but it never went the full eight meters or nine yards. And now, decades later, it may be going back to miles under the Trump administration's America First mantra. The U.S. Transportation Department says the highway could get new signage because, quote, when you're driving in the United States, it should be unmistakably American. Why not use meters and kilometers? The U.S. is often ridiculed for not adapting the global metric standard. We should have two different unrelated scales of temperature. One of them will make sense to the entire world, and the other will be super random. Our great nation will use the random one. Nice. Elaine Weber is a retired teacher who likes the signs just as they are. Show me the harm. How many people have been harmed by this? Because it's going to be an expensive project to resign the entire stretch of that. But we also found people who wouldn't mind a bit more consistency. I think I'd rather it be miles because that's what shows on the car like the most and that's what I'm used to. So, Do you have trouble with the conversion? Yes, I do. She's not alone. Do you know what the mile to kilometer conversion is? I believe it's 1.6 miles. Correct. Yeah. I'm not sure. Yeah, <laughs> I believe it's 1.6. For the record, one mile is 1.6 kilometers. What will it be like for you if they change over? Then it'll just be another drab piece of uh, interstate like any other. It'll have nothing special about it. But for now, the metric markers remain waiting to see if politics takes the wheel.